All right. Here we are. All right. Taking huge amounts of Kratom. That's what we're going to talk about today. But I, I just got to show you something. Look at that. I even brought the opener and everything. Special. This is a... I had a splurge. I had a splurge. I'm freaking quarantined. I bought, I bought uh, like... I don't know, like five of these the other day, just like in the singles at the store. I don't even know. Is it Tupu Chico? Tapu? I don't even know. Whatever. It doesn't really matter how it's pronounced. All that matters is it's freaking good. Dude, it's just so good. Okay, we'll get this going. I can't. I Yeah, I dropped this before the video. I had to like wait a little bit longer to let it because I, yeah. I'll drop it if I put it over there, so I need to put it up here. Okay, here we go. Okay. All right. If you're not a regular on my videos, I already apologize because I've wasted a minute. Okay, here we go. Taking huge amounts of Kratom, okay? Um, again, I'm not for or against or whatever. I don't have any freaking agenda here. I'm just telling you my experience, okay? I took a lot of kratom, okay? And I will I'll get into get into how much I was taking roughly. I actually got a I actually got a pretty I got a pretty solid idea uh, of roughly how much I was taking at my peak. I, I I really didn't before. I really I just didn't even really think about it. I was like, I don't know, I don't have a clue. But after like talking to other people and kind of being, you know, they'll be like, well, I take four ounces four times a day or, or four, sorry, not four ounces, four times a day, four grams, four times a day or whatever. And I kind of realized like, oh, well, wow, okay. I didn't know I took more than that because I took, da -da -da, you know, and then, so I, I've kind of thought too, especially as I've been clean and, you know, you kind of get memories back and stuff too. And, and, uh, would kind of, was kind of thinking about stuff and, and I knew how much I was spinning and stuff too. And, and, uh, uh, so I got I got an idea. Okay, I'll get into kind of how much I was taking, uh, the effects of it, uh, and you know stuff I dealt with, reasons why I didn't like it, to be honest with you, and just kind of my weird thinking and stuff, and just just crap that I the crap that I dealt with taking taking freaking gobs of this stuff. Okay, again, this is taking gobs of stuff. I'm gonna tell you how much I was taking. I'm not saying that everyone that takes kratom. No matter what, and 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 da, da 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 da. If you take, I mean, you know, take this amount. No matter what, no matter what amount you take, you're gonna feel this. No, this is what I dealt with, taking what I took. Okay, here we go. Sorry. We'll have less intermission though, right? If I just guzzle, it's just so freaking good. And if the faster I drink it, the more carbonated it is. Like if I just let it. Okay. All right, let's move this along. It's going to get way too freaking long if I don't hustle this long. Okay. All right. So, how much I was taking? Let's get into that right away. Uh, okay, this is at, at my peak. Okay, first off, too, yes, I started I started taking Kratom because I was going to get off methadone. Okay, I have other videos explaining that. I'm not going to get into that. But that's just, I just have to at least lay that little foundation. That's why I started taking Kratom in the first place. Okay, was because I had heard about it and I wanted to make my withdrawals. Uh, not suck as much as possible because it sucks and uh, and I didn't taper from methadone and methadone sucks dude I'm talking to a guy coming off methadone right now and he hasn't slept in nine days all right and I believe him because methadone's just like that dude especially okay I need to just talk about my kratom use okay <laughs> anyway okay uh, this is probably why people suggest like, dude, you should just get a podcast and just like talk and blah, 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 blah. It's probably an all right idea, I guess. I don't, I don't know. Maybe that's a really stupid idea. Anyway. Okay. Here we go. So I was taking at my peak. I, I, I apologize for this crappy video at my peak. I was taking for sure three to four ounces a day of Kratom easily. Okay. And I know that because the bottles I got of these capsules, yeah, I was taking, I was spending like $700 a month. I took a lot of capsules. I did not spend my money wisely. I'm all about convenience. I, it got to a point where I had to start buying the powder and start drinking the crap though. <laughs> and it sucked. I hate drinking that stuff, dude. That stuff's terrible. I haven't talked to, I haven't talked to anybody that is like, you know, oh, I don't mind it. It tastes pretty good. Or, oh, I don't really, I don't really mind drinking it. No, everyone's like, no, it sucks, dude. And it's gritty. Yeah, dude, it's grit. It's really gritty. And it takes, it just tastes so bitter and terrible, terrible, terrible. And dude, when you're taking so much and you got to drink so much of that, 
I mean, dude, there's times where we're just like, oh, even though the mm -hmm. money sucked, dude, and it was like, you know, I started spending enough to where my wife was getting on my, hounding on me, like, dude, what, you know, even though, yeah, even though it's still, you know, $700 a month was cut in half of what I was sp spending on pills easily, you know, that's, you know, still sucked, but that's why I was spending that much money, yeah, okay, because some people have, they're like, they don't believe me that I was spending that much money, it's like, dude, yeah, this was like six years ago, and, there, you know, I'm not buying it in the kilo. I didn't want to drink it if I didn't have to. Anyway, whatever. Ah, uh, crap. Where was I? Yeah, anyway, because, yeah, these bottles of freaking capsules. I'm sorry. These bottles of these capsules were freaking... They were an ounce, okay? A whole bottle. And I would do... And I mean, I'd just pop open a bottle and just... I mean, I'd uh, take a drink of water. I could, I could probably take all the capsules in three guzzles, three drinks, uh, or maybe even do... Nah, probably three drinks. I bet I could do it in three freaking drinks, dude. I don't know. Maybe I'm tripping. I'm, I'm pretty amazing, though, at swallowing lots of pills, lots of capsules all at once. Something I'm good at in this life. I always told my family I'd be good at something. And I guess that's it. All right, here we go. Uh, crap. Okay, so yeah, three to four ounces a day. Maybe more some some days. But right, right around in there, okay? That's why... You know, I like I would, would say like I I didn't take it in grams, I took it in ounces, and people are like, what? You take multiple ounces at once? It's like, no, I'm just figure. It's a figure. I'm just saying that because no, I didn't take it. No, I took it like I did. I took it in ounces. I would take it an, an, one ounce at one time. Absolutely, absolutely. Like I said, I mean, like I took it, it all day. There was no. I didn't keep track. Okay, I took lots of freaking kratom. Um, dude, like I remember, dude, and I'm sure, dude, you can relate to this. Like burping, like if you took a lot of kratom, like burping and just like it was just like pure like powder coming out of my burp. Like I remember the first time that happened, I was like, "What the hell?" Like, like really? Whoa, that really happened. Happened. And then it would just happen all the time because I took. I had to take so much of it, dude. I mean, so much, dude. I mean, I just imagine my stomach as a freaking like green brick. I mean, seriously, and it was like a brick because. I got so effing constipated on it. More constipated on that than opiates. No joke. No joke. You know, because I was taking so much. And it, and it does constipate you. That's what it does. That's sort of one of the things it does. Um, but, uh, I, okay, so as I, as I took more and more of, of, of Kratom, uh, I needed it, you know, I, I needed, needed it uh, every day, obviously. I took it every day. I just took it every day. So, uh, you know, that, that was no, it wasn't like I was, I, I wasn't the type of person, like I was using it recreationally and it just kind of got out of control. Like, no, I was getting off methadone and just start taking it every day. Cause it helped. I didn't care. I was just like this methadone withdrawal freaking sucked. And like I said, I didn't taper. So it, it, I just got right into Kratom and just started gradually taking more and more and more. But like, uh, as I took more and more, I noticed I needed it like every few hours, dude, or I'd get restless. Like, or like, and just stuff would come up. Like, like I freaking like, I, I remember, I remember like, I remember like the day where it really hit where I was like, cause like I didn't take any in the morning cause I like didn't, I like didn't have it and I had to like go to work and then I had, and then I like had to do some stuff. And then on my lunch, I had, had to run to the head shop and get somewhere. I had just like, maybe like a little bit in the morning or something like that. I don't know. I just remember the moment I was going through a drive through and I remember the moment I was like starting to feel like with kind of with, like withdrawal stuff. And I remember being like, Oh, you know, fudge only I didn't say fudge no like on a Christmas story it's a great movie but uh but seriously I didn't say fudge no but uh I was like I, I knew I was like I was in the kratom pickle I was in the kratom pickle I was freaking uh I needed kratom okay but but I, I noticed that I needed it like freaking like uh, like like every few hours, dude, because I was taking so much of it too, and, and that sucked. That that really sucked because I had to have it everywhere. I was just always taking it. Everyone I knew, everyone I worked with, like, what are you taking? What is that? You know, and oh, and I just say, oh, it's some, it's a supplement that's helping me. You know, and, and they knew, I, they knew whatever the hell it was. I was like freaking taking tons of this stuff. Um, but uh, now, as far as the opiate-like effects of kratom, okay, the. Now, as far as far as the opiate like effects of kratom, it it peaks at like whatever amount. I don't even remember. I don't even know. I don't know what amount it peaks at or it peaked for me. But like I I would take gobs and gobs and gobs of this stuff, and like you don't get any like higher like an opiate like euphoria high. You, you, I mean, yeah, dude, it's kratom is it, it gets your opioid receptors working. Uh, they're it's just in a different way, and and it does, and it's got some other stuff going on. Uh, but, 
you know, other stuff that you feel when you, when you take it. But, uh, but yeah, so, so the, the opiate like effects that, that you get from taking Kratom that, that it peaks, dude, like there, it, you can take a ton of that crap and you're not going to get like any more like, Oh, now I really, Oh, now I'm just like, I feel great. I feel like I'm on cloud nine and I'm not enough. It's just, it's not like that. It's not like that. Now you will feel other things though. Okay. The, just the that's uh, just the opi the opiate like effects okay that peaks okay but there's other effects that you do that you can feel if you keep on freaking taking it um, and you know and I got into a pickle where I was taking so much of it like my physical dependency demanded a really freaking high dose all the time um, but uh, crap okay uh, didn't matter how much I uh, yeah, yeah yeah okay but okay but here are okay so here's some of the other effects that I felt okay here's that that weren't the opiate like effects okay uh well I guess this one is so I yeah dude I didn't have a sex drive when I took all this kratom I mean like it kratom freaking screws with your sex drive just like opiates okay I freaking was like I said I was constipated up the well up the butt there you go <laughs> well yeah I mean, in the stomach okay there we go but I was, I was constipated like crazy. All right. Um, this, man, I don't know what one's better. I think I like this better. This is just so good. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sure you guys really care. Um, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This video really does suck, huh? It's slow. It's boring. I'm, and I apologize. Um, okay, uh, so yeah, the sex drive and the constipation, okay, that's, that's whatever, okay, now I'm gonna get into the, to the other stuff, agitation, dude, and like, aggression and agitation, crabbiness, just being, just, you know, generally being just in a bad mood and agitated and pissed off, I mean, seriously, that was an absolute real side effect that I felt and I've talked to several people that have asked me the same thing. They're like, did you get agitated and pissed off? And da, da, da. I'm like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, just an, uh, another one was just a general, n just numb feeling and just cloudiness, like fogginess in my mind, kind of. I don't know. How, it's very hard to explain. It, it wasn't like, uh, it's not like the cloudiness, fogginess on opiates, though. It goes beyond that and it becomes something else. Uh, I did not like it at all. Uh, no compassion. Uh, I've talked to several people about this too. Literally, I was talking to someone about this in like the last, I swear in like the last 12 hours, 24 hours for sure. Can't, I just can't remember if it was last night or today or what. I I don't know. I talked to so many people, it all just kind of blurs together sometimes, which sucks because then I forget, I forget some people. Some people I don't forget though. But anyway, okay. But yeah, they're asking me about, or just telling me, I think they're just telling me about their experience. Um, they're, they're just fed up with Kratom. They're freaking done with it. They hate it. It's, in fact, they said it ruined their life. They, they, live, their lives, sorry, <laughs> their, their life, yeah. And uh, yeah, they're multi they have multiple lives, uh, and it was ruined all of them. It's like a cat. And I, okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, they, they said they had no compassion, blah, 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 just destroyed relationships and stuff in their life. But, uh, and they're taking a lot though. They're saying they're taking a, like high amounts. Uh, but I, I definitely noticed. I also noticed like extreme cravings. Like I would just crave more Kratom or I would crave other things. And I have read, I have read that that is a an actual side effect of taking Kratom and taking lots of, when you start taking lots of Kratom, it's like this, uh, there's some name for it that they have. I can't freaking remember what it is. I should, should have probably checked, done the stuff, or I guess my phone's right there. And, and wrote it down, but whatever. Um, and, and I'm going to say, dude, delusional thinking and radical thinking. My, my thinking became delusional. Uh, and I'm telling you that right now, dude. I'm, and this is at high, the high doses. This was at the high the doses, the peak of my usage. Uh, you know, ab absolutely. Like, dude, I... I it, I thought that, dude, I, I, like, okay, like, something I thought, like, I thought that I could, like, like, start a new political movement. Like, I'm not joking. Like, I legit thought that, like, I could start this new political movement, 
and it was going to be, you know, like kind of like this, but it was going to be based like this. And it was, it was very extreme. It was very radical, very shrewd, very shrewd. And I thought either I could, I could lead this movement or I could put someone else as the face and I could be the number one advisor and kind of, you know, cause I, 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 I knew what I was capable of and what I wasn't capable of. I knew my manic between my manic depressiveness and my just outright, you know, just not being reliable and, and stuff like that. Like, uh, just the ups and downs of my everyday life. I, I knew it was like, well, I probably won't be able to lead it because uh, lead the movement because uh, yeah, I want to be in bed for a week because I'll go get all down and then I, you know, um, anyway. But uh, I mean, just crazy stuff like that, dude. I'm and honestly, dude, I'm not. I'm just gonna kind of leave it at that. I'm not gonna get into like the details of what this political movement was and stuff like that. Like some of you, if you want to know that I talked to privately, I can let you know. But like, because uh, because if I told you guys, you guys would think I was nuts and I need to be locked up, and I probably did. Then why well, did then do the stuff? And that, that that's just the polit. I'm just telling you that one little thing. There was other stuff. I was very shrewd. Like I was talking about no compassion. I was so shrewd. I was I was radical. I did not care about you or your situation. Everything everything became black and white to me. Uh, like I said, I was very radical. Very radical. Uh, I love talking politics and I became very, I did become very interested in a lot of politics all around the world, uh, at that time. And I, I still am though, actually. Uh, but, but I was just very, like I said, I was very, it was, it was very strange. It was very, it wasn't my normal thinking at all, dude. It wasn't, um, you know, and, and I, dude, I was, dude, I was watching and even listening to some different stuff that I, I don't listen to. I, I never listened to it before. I've never listened to it since. I watched stuff and I was into stuff that I would never was before and I never have been since. I mean, seriously, it did change it. It changed me. And that a side effect of taking a ton of Kratom, a lot of Kratom, delusional thinking, okay? Uh, delusions and hallucinations even. Uh, for real, okay? Uh, I don't think I ever hallucinated. I'm pretty sure I was, yeah. Anyway, okay, this is getting way too long and, and it's crappy. It sucks. And it's going to be boring and no one's even going to stick around. So I'm sorry for this. Um, but uh, da, 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 da. but here's the deal, dude. Taking all that crap, dude, it just took over my freaking life. And I hear so many people literally say, in fact, I use, I'm using that phrase because I've heard that phrase so many times from other people. Like it just take, it's taken over my life. And, uh, and, and I mean that in like a couple different ways. And, and so do these other people when they tell me, uh, cause I, I had to have it. Okay. I was physically freaking dependent on it, dude. When you're taking it every day and you're taking that much, like, you know, don't, I, I'm sorry. If you're taking, if you're taking ounces, you know, when, when, when you, when people are on here being like, Kratom withdrawal is no more than a headache. Yeah. Maybe if you're taking, you know, 10 to 20 grams a day or 10 grams a day or 16 grams a day, or, but not if you're taking two ounces a day, not if you're taking 60 grams a day, not if you're taking three ounces a day or whatever, whatever, you know, four ounces a day. I mean, like, no, it's, it's not just a headache. You can't, it's not just black and white. It's not just, this is what it is, or it's always this extreme. It's not that. Okay. I'm not, I'm not saying it's always extreme, but I'm telling you right now, it's not always just a headache. Uh, I, I don't think that there'd be communities online that are dedicated to getting off Kratom if it was just a freaking headache. <laughs> uh, that's just my thought, but I don't know. Uh, they're, they're <laughs> but uh, I don't know. I hear that, and it's just like, I mean, and I get it. If that was your experience, that's what was your experience, dude. But that's just not how it always is at all, dude. I talk to way, way more people that... Uh, that it's uh, it's more than a headache, okay? And uh, yeah, it's not, it's not opiate withdrawal, but... Uh, but, he, but at this high amount, dude, you know, I was physically dependent on it and yet I hated it yet. I freaking hated it. So, so here I am. I'm, I'm physically dependent on it. I'm taking a ton of it, but I hate it. I freaking hate it. I mean, it got to this point where I just had to take this amount just to be, and I, and I just effing hated the way that it made me feel. I, I, I was, dude, I was, I was miserable. I was miserable on Kratom, dude. I was absolutely miserable. I hated the fog of the, it, I hated being foggy and I felt, dude, I felt just so disconnected, dude. I really did, uh, just really disconnected, just, just distant and not present at all. I mean, that's, that's how I felt like, um, and, and I hate, and I just hated the way I do. I felt depressed on it. I got really depressed on it. 
And I remember telling my wife, like, dude, I just hate this stuff. I, I just don't know what to do. And da, da, da. I mean, I just was really in the pickle. And uh, but it was just it was different, though. It wasn't like pills where it was like I'm physically dependent. I'm spending all this money. And you do get to a point where you hate it and stuff, though, too. But it was just it was in a different way. It was just it was it was similar. But yet, I don't know. I, I like genuinely just hated the way it made me feel. We're like with the pills, you just hate the game and you're tired, you're sick and tired of being sick and tired. You're sick and tired of being dope sick. And then you get your pills and you score. And then for a while you're like, oh, actually I love pills or whatever. <laughs> you know, you'd be kind of dumb for a while. Then, but it wasn't that at all. It was like, even when I was using it and I could take as much as I wanted, I hated it. I couldn't, you couldn't get, I couldn't get as high as I wanted to from it. You know, I couldn't get, you know, it, 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 it there's an end game with Kratom if you're a real hardcore addict and it sucks, dude. And then, and then when you're taking that, though, that high amount of stuff and you got to, freaking do enemas to crap and you who knows what you're doing to your liver at, at those amounts i mean dude the mayo clinic dude they say it does that it does uh that it can cause liver damage and stuff and and the big thing too with kratom is you don't want to mix it with other stuff that's the big big thing uh that people have that have people that have had trouble with kratom or like an od or something anyway okay i'm sorry i'm gonna get off top i'm getting off topic this whole video is just whatever um but, uh, so, okay, so anyway, let's just wrap this up. So anyway, yes, I was miserable on it. I freaking hated it. I did not like taking that whole, all those giant freaking amounts of it. Uh, and so what I did is, as you guys know, that follow, I stopped taking it abruptly, okay, on a Wednesday. And I worked through the withdrawal. And basically, though, what I did, within a month and a half, I just started taking methadone, okay? That's 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 what I, I started taking methadone again. Yeah, I took Kratom to get off methadone, and then I took methadone to get off Kratom. Uh, because, dude, I mean, the, the withdrawal from Kratom wasn't that bad. Like, it just, I mean, when I say wasn't that bad, it was because it was freaking... I was compared to coming off of opiates, like morphine and oxy and methadone and stuff. Uh, it wasn't fun. It was, op like I've said before, it was diet opiate detox. It was opiate detox light. You know, I get a lot of people, they say it doesn't even compare to, to opiates. And I, and I, dude, I totally get that. I totally get that. Like, I, if someone says that, I'm not going to argue with them. I mean, it, you know, it, to me, it, it's... It's some, I, I, to me, I just am like, well, yeah, it's somewhat, it's, it's similar. It's diet opiate detox. I mean, yes, opiate is way more hellish. It's going to take you down a darkness that you don't want to go, man. I mean, but I'm going to, but I will tell you this is even after, uh, after using that much Kratom for a, yeah, this was like a six month period too, by the way, I didn't really say that, but after using that, even after a month and a half, like. I still like, I mean, it like got like, I got through the physical stuff and then it was like, it was better, but then it like kind of wasn't. And you know, it's like, I, I don't know, like to, to really be free from Kratom and not use it anymore might be, a, it's not going to be as hellish as stuff, but it might be a little bit more difficult than you might think. There's a lot of people I talk to, they're like, no, Kratom's easy to get off of and blah, blah, blah. And you start talking to them and it's like, well, they still... It's like you still take it. Like what do you what the hell? Like I don't get it. Like how can you say it's so easy to get off of but then you take it? <laughs> or you know what I mean? Like when you have to get off of it to know how hard it is to actually get off of cuz cuz it's there's a real psychological uh thing with kratom, okay? It's not just physical stuff. It's 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 a, it's an odd thing when you start taking those high high amounts. And I must say this real quick, I do talk to a lot of people. In fact, I'm going to make a video on a, to on, a, on a certain Kratom topic with a certain, but a cer Kratom, sorry, a certain Kratom, but a certain opiate with, and, and how Kratom is really helping people get off of a certain opiate that I'm talking to and I'm seeing the freaking the, re the real stuff, dude. And I do talk to people that, you know, real help, but, but, uh, from Kratom, but I do talk to people that do, that do take, you know, 10 grams a day, 12 grams a day, 16 grams a day. And uh, it's it's saved their lives from opiates, dude. You know, and they're fine, and and they're happy. They're fine taking kratom every day. That's cool. Okay, so I, I don't. I'm sorry. I'm getting way off. This is way long. So anyway, this really sucked, dude. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't have time to watch this, so I'm just gonna post it, even though it sucks, or so I think it sucks. So anyway, that was me taking lots of kratom. I don't know. That's what I experienced. I hated it. I hated it, hated it, hated it. For me, I won't take Kratom ever again for multiple reasons. It doesn't mean I'm not against it, but 
Anyway, I guess I've said that already. Anyway, God bless all y'all. Be full victory. Stay clean. Keep going. Hopefully you found this somewhat entertaining. God bless all y'all and salute.